conceptually, quite a bit of geometry comes down to reasoning or um, identifying things that can be proved as true and then using those to prove new things. Um, and really when uh, you're dealing with reasoning in pretty much any situation, but certainly in, uh, in mathematics, there are sort of two classifications of reasoning. You have inductive reasoning and you have deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning will be uh, dealt with in the next lesson, so we're going to focus on inductive reasoning here in this lesson. Inductive reasoning can be described as reasoning where you start with specifics and you move to generalities. So you start with sort of the small or the specific examples and you move to more general statements. So an example might be um, if you reach into a bag and you pull out four pieces of candy. And it turns out that all four pieces of your candy are red. Well, then, after reaching in four different times and pulling out four different pieces of red candy, you might be tempted to start thinking that there's a lot of red candy in there. And if you reach in and pull out another, say, six pieces of candy, and they're all red, then you might start to wonder if all of the candy in the bag is red. So in that example, what you've done then is go from the specific case of four pieces of candy and six pieces of candy that you pulled out one after another to this, the general statement that all the candy is red. So that's an example of inductive reasoning. Um, another example of inductive reasoning might be triangles. If you measure the interior angles of a triangle. Say you measure the interior angles of 10 different triangles. And it turns out they all are 180 degrees. Then you might be tempted to say that based on those 10 different specific examples, then you could make the statement that all triangles are 180 degrees. Tri-A-T-R-I-A-N-G. Forget the E. So that would be an inductive reasoning step, the step going from a bunch of examples of something to saying that because of that, all of those things are whatever it is you're measuring, in this case 180 degrees, in the previous case red candy. So inductive reasoning starts with specific examples and moves to more general examples. Now in the lesson you're about to work, most of the questions are going to deal with patterns and um, series, um, visual patterns, number patterns, where you have a bunch of specific examples like maybe um, you know, here's your first item in a series, and here's your second item in the same series, and here's your third item in the same series. Well, those three specific examples might make you believe or might lead you to believe that the fourth and fifth examples in the same series would then also have the same number of dots as they have their place in the series. So that's another example of inductive reasoning. So as you're going through this chapter, look for places where you're using inductive reasoning to go from specific examples to general statements.